I hear there's a new pride flag. <laughs> wow, what a sight. What is that? Like everything the alphabets come up with, I of course thought this was a joke. Yeah, it always seems like a joke until activists in the media encourage it and then the president endorses it and they make legislation enforcing it and you're left thinking, whoa, hold up. Am I the only sane person left on this planet? You know, people joke that the writers of The Simpsons can time travel and that's how they predict future events so accurately. If that's true, they are not the only ones because I know of an artist who did the same thing. Way back in 1974, Maria Abramovich, a Serbian artist, did a social experiment called Rhythm Zero. We're going to delve into that crazy experiment and how scarily close it is to the current woke madness we are seeing normalized in today's society. Now, YouTube is not exactly keen on such topics from upcoming channels, so I need you to like this video. That would force the algorithm to get it out there to more truth seekers like you. Also, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take with Dio. Maria was one artist who liked to test boundaries and push limits in her work, but this time she outdid herself and actually predicted the future with Rhythm Zero, a social experiment in which Maria made art at the risk of her own life. So she placed 72 items on the table ranging from feathers to roses to scissors to knives and even a loaded gun and she stood there willfully passive like an object. The experiment was simple, do to me as you please with no consequence. So basically people had the opportunity to do whatever they wanted to her with the objects on the table. It started off pretty light, you know, a few drawings on her cheek and body, placing roses in her hair. As calm as you'd imagine. Kinda like when a certain community came out to tell the world, we just want to love and not be hated for who we are. Oh, oh, here I come. That didn't last very long though. Soon the animals were out of the cage. Maria was stripped naked, hauled across the room by certain people and physically abused. Someone even went as far as cutting her on the side of the neck and drinking her blood. <laughs> Who'd have thought that they'd be vampires in that room? Like my people would say, not be everybody will wear clothes, stay normal. That is, people aren't as sane as they appear. Anyway, it got even worse than that. She had the loaded gun pressed against her and that ended just as bad as you would imagine. In fact, the end is my favorite part of this unfortunate experiment and we will get to it soon. But basically, people who seemed normal at first turned into predators, oppressors and killers. Maria was clearly insane for trying this, but also revolutionary. Now, when you compare the experiment with modern society, it sends literal chills down one's spine how far gone it is. We already established that love is love and the attacking us for who we love was a relatively peaceful part of the experiment. So people thought, hey, it's not so bad. Go on, give them rights to protect them from getting attacked, which by the way is kind of ridiculous because I'm pretty sure every citizen already has the right to not be attacked, but I digress. Then came the pride when we see outright nudity in the streets of the West in celebration of something which apparently <laughs> cannot be celebrated with decent clothes on. Grown-ass men and women walk in the streets of a city filled with children. <laughs> Bare butts. Plus, they were kind enough to extend the birthday suit action to the White House as well. <laughs> with, with the president present. We also got the pronouns and vocabulary police policing language with the Biden administration recently updating the Title IX law to criminalize not using an individual's preferred pronouns to refer to them. So yes, you can get arrested for not calling that fellow ha. <laughs> well, at least it's still voluntary to add my pronouns to social media pages. Who knows what might happen when they decide it's exclusionary not to add pronouns as well. They have actively come for kids as little as four years old. Suddenly, these cuties <laughs> can now consent to just about anything because kids below 18 are mature and can tell us who they are. Yeah, when did Hazel okay. decide that she was no longer going to be a girl? Hazel decided that they were non-binary when they were about four. But what about the consequences, you ask? Oh, nah, damn those. They're none. Remember, we are in Maria Abramovich's experiment now. Ah. How could I forget to mention the women with co-
now competing against women with vaginas. <laughs> oh, that is for sure a nice cock on that brave six foot four woman athlete. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Ah, yes. Did I fail to mention these guys? I don't know if I was clear the first time oh, when I okay, said it, sorry. so I'll be clear again this time. Okay. My gender is... Oh. And my you pronouns pronounce? are... My name's Farah. I am a trans woman, as well as an intersex woman. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, or your grace. I identify as a threat, a nightmare, and a goddess, so please bow down to me. The demons, goddesses, and human mammals of our current ethos. Who can get you arrested for not using their pronouns? <laughs> Let that sink in. Honestly, that guy who caught Maria Abramovich's neck to drink her blood could identify as a vampire today and it'd be totally normal. Strange, isn't it? In the philosophical concept, logic, there's a Latin term commonly employed by Aristotle and other great Greek philosophers. Reductio ad absurdum. In English, that translates to reduction to absurdism, and in psychology, overextension. This is where the alphabets are headed, or perhaps already are. I mean, look at that monstrosity. This is what happens when you tear down healthy boundaries and make it a free-for-all. The animals will come out of the cage, just like in the Rhythm Zero experiment. However, Thanks to the alphabet community, I believe more and more people will wake up to this absurdity as this is becoming indefensible. Or perhaps people will keep letting a loud minority dictate what is and isn't acceptable for society till there is nothing left to hold on to. Who knows? Back to Maria's experiment. What happened when the gun was pressed against her? Well, a few bold people fought off the depraved aggressors and formed the circle around her, taking shifts and possibly saving her life. This is my favorite part of Rhythm Zero. Same human species, we had the good, the bad, and the ugly. This time, good did not let evil prevail. Good stood its ground and said, not today. Those of us who are not yet insane know the truth, and we far outnumber the insane and deluded. But that's too bad. Numbers only matter when it is put to good use. My name is Theo, thank you for watching. So guys, I would like to hear your thoughts on this particular video. Leave a comment below and I will see you on the next one. Odabo.